What's up everybody? Uh, welcome to my trading den. It is TradeX again and today we're going to cover TradeX's three drives pattern. All right, so this is my much anticipated three drives pattern which I have been back testing for the last three to four months and I'm now in a position where I'm happy to share it with you all because I've validated it and I am confident with it. Okay, we're going to cover the uh, bullet point format, we're going to go through its market structure, we're then going to go into some fixed charts, and then we're going to end up in live charts, all right? So by the end of this, you're going to know absolutely everything there is to know about TradeX's three drives pattern using ICT concepts, okay? Now, guys, before we do that, right, as always, please do consider smashing a like and subscribe if you find value in this content, and I guarantee you will, <laughs> I guarantee you're going to find some value in this content today, all right? Um, it does the channel well good and it also helps other traders like yourself view this content and you know That's what it's all about. All right. That's what it's all about sharing is caring. All right now Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's start with the bullet points and we're gonna go further into some uh, more juicy stuff, right? What is it and where do we find it? They are found at higher time frame PDRAs where we are likely to see support or resistance and are also at intermediate levels where retracements are seen. Now, what do I mean by that? High time frame PDRAs rates can come in many forms. It can be a new weekly opening gap, it can be a new day opening gap, Snoop DOGG. It could be a variety of reasons, but we are looking for it to take place, if it's bearish or bullish, at higher time frame PDRAs, rates where we like to see support or resistance. Now, it also may take place at intermediate levels, and this can happen, for example, inside the dealing range, say, for example, at 62% or in the target entry zone of a displacement leg where we're likely to see a form of retracement, all right? Now, we have both bearish and bullish formations, and I'm gonna break through those, what they look like in a second, um, um, but what are they, right? What are they? And these are market maker sell models or market maker buy models depending on whether it's bullish or bearish, all right? And what we are witnessing are market makers accumulating positions to reverse the market in the opposing direction, all right? So we're gonna break through this down in a second, so bear with me. What we are looking to do is take an entry off the hidden order block on the middle drive. Now this is what I have been back testing and this is what I have uncovered, okay? So this is what makes the pattern mine, all right? And we're gonna go through this, I'm gonna show you some examples, but we are looking to take an entry off the hidden order block, which is inside the middle drive of the three drive, okay? And these are discovered on all time frames. As we know, price is fractal, so we're gonna find them on the one minute, the five minute, 10 minute, you know, you name it, oh, one hourly, daily. All right, let's break down what it looks like in terms of structure, and then we'll go into some fixed charts. This is the bearish example, okay? So let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. We have this displacement leg high, drive one, we have this retracement, displacement leg higher, drive two, retracement. At this stage, we're doing absolutely nothing, okay? Drive three into the higher time frame, resistance level. And as I suggested, this can be in a variety of forms. We're still doing nothing. Price moves away and then moves back into the highest up close candle of this hidden order block, which is drive two, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to purge the sell side here on the second drive, but you know, it's preferable. But the premise of the this pattern is to take the entry off the middle drive, which is the hidden order block, okay? And we're taking our entry off the highest up close candle in a bearish example for the price to then move lower, okay? Let's break this down. So we have drive one, retracement, drive two, retracement, drive three. And we like it preferably to be a very, very clear three drives into an area of higher time frame resistance, okay? We are looking for the highest up close candle inside the middle drive, which is a hidden order block, okay? And our entry is there, and we're taking the market lower. Our stop goes above the high of the third drive, okay? That is trade X's three drives pattern in a bearish example, okay? Now let's look at a bullish example and then we're gonna jump into some uh, fixed charts and then we'll look at some live chart examples, all right? Let's have a look, let's have a look at it, all right? So we have this displacement leg lower, retracement, displacement leg lower, drive two, retracement. Third drive, displacement leg lower. At this stage we're doing nothing. Drive one, drive two, drive three, into what? Higher time frame PDRA support level, okay? Or an intermediate level of support, okay? As previously mentioned. We're looking for price to move away and then come back into what? The lowest down close candle inside this hidden order block. The lowest down close candle inside this hidden order block. And that is our entry to take the market long. 
So every time we're witnessing these legs down, this is the market accumulating positions where long, all right? This is accumulation to move the market higher. So let's break it down. We have drive one, we have drive two, we're doing nothing. We have drive three. We're aware now that this middle drive is a hidden order block. We're looking for price to move away, come back to the lowest down close candle inside of the drive two. That is our entry to go higher, our stop that goes, that goes below the low of the third drive, okay? Now guys, if you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, just wait, we're gonna look into some fixed charts. Let's have a look at example. This is a bullish example. Displacement leg lower. This higher time frame uh, PDRA in this example is actually a mitigation block on a higher time frame. We have drive one, drive two, drive three, price moves away. What are we looking for? Price to return into the lowest down close candle in the middle drive. This is our hidden order block, okay? And in this example, you have so many opportunities to get in, but your lowest entry, lowest risk entry is this lowest down close candle inside the middle drive. All right, guys. So we have this order block form, then we have another propulsion block form, price comes into medium threshold of that order propulsion block before moving higher. But your best entry would have been when price came back and touched this lower down close candle. Don't think, just execute, and then your stop goes below the low. That's example one, guys, right? If you don't believe me, let's have a look at another example. Drive one, drive two, drive three. In this example, it's actually into a monthly open price, okay? What are we looking for? The lowest down close candle inside of the second drive. That is our hidden order block, this whole section of price action here, okay? Price runs into what? The lowest down close candle. That is our entry to take the market higher. We can be targeting, therefore, then uh, liquidity, imbalances, and <clears throat> liquidity above old highs or imbalances within the displacement leg, okay? That is our target, all right? They're our targets. And, but our entry, which is the focus, because this is an entry technique, is off of the lowest down close candle in the middle drive, and this is a bullish example. Let's have a look at another example, okay? And this is a very, very sloppy example. This is a very sloppy example, okay? But still, it's there. Drive one. Drive two, drive three into a higher time frame PDRA. Price moves away. We're still aware of this lowest down close candle. What does price come back to? Lowest down close candle. Bang, moves higher, okay? That's gonna cover the fixed charts. Let's jump into a live example. Why? Because we have one on Monday, which was last week. And this was an incredible example of a market maker sell model because if you go into charts and look at what price happened since, it's never it's never returned. It's just gone straight to hell, okay? So the highest time frame, uh, the high time frame PDRA in this example was a new weekly opening gap. So go jump into your charts and have a look at it. And this is Monday, March the 6th, okay? Monday, March the 6th, so this was last week. And we have drive one. Drive two, drive three into the new week opening gap. Price falls away and comes back into what? The, high, the highest up close candle in the middle drive. This is our hidden order block, okay? So your entry would be off of that highest up close candle. Stop goes above the high of the third drive. And then we're targeting either an imbalance or pools of liquidity below old lows, all right? In this instance, we actually get a reclaimed order block, but <laughs> that makes it even stronger, but we're not gonna cover that today. Today, the purpose of today's video is actually the covering the, my personal three drives pattern. And so guys, that is absolutely everything you need to know about how to execute my three drives, all right? So jump into your charts, go and have a look at it and start executing on it. And I guarantee you, you're gonna start taking some monster trades using it, all right? Guys, as always, please do consider smash that like and subscribe if you found this useful, all right? And as always, until next time, trade safe, trade smart, and I'll see you on the other side. Take care, guys. Bye.